Yeah. What, when we, you go back to when you and I kind of started in the business years ago and it was, you know, you were trying to target through direct mail or, or maybe knocking on doors, salespeople knocking on doors. Sure. What makes today, this day and age, so different from back then, John? What, like with digital media, for example, you talk about targeting specifically Molly Jones, right? Yeah. 48 years old, household income of 175, et cetera. A lot of people don't think in terms of that. They think more shotgun approach, right? Right. So the more people you sell to, the fewer sales you make because, you know, as you sell in a broad area, you sell. You're trying to sell to everyone. Right. You're selling to no one. Right. You know, it's it's really the balance, and you know, um, I'm always thankful that I started uh, early enough in traditional media to sort of get the basics sure. in the background. Yeah, that's important. You know. It always goes back to reach and frequency, Mark. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, right. You know, if I don't reach enough people, if I only reach two Molly Joneses, yeah. my chances of success are, are very Pretty slim. slim. Yeah. So I have to reach enough Molly Joneses to, to winnow that down so that I get enough sales to make it worthwhile. Yeah. So it's that combination of reach and frequency that you still have to pay attention to even in this digital, you know, laser focused age that we live in now. Yeah. And again, your, your media has to balance those two concepts. So, you know, instead of thinking of it that way, let's think of it in terms of the sales funnel. Yep. Do I have enough prospects at the top so that as, uh, as people fall out for one reason or another, when I get to the bottom? Yeah, I've got, I've got some real leads here that people, yeah. right, that I can sell to that fit the demographic that I'm looking or psychographic data that I'm looking for. I love what you said a few minutes ago.